The SEAS initiative that Representative Quinn had the press conference on today, I think, will be very good for state employees to give their opinions. The whole point of it is going back to those that do the job every single day. And as you know, in our area, we have lots of state employees. And I hear when I'm out at community events or Eagle Scouts or anything about why don't we do things a certain way. Well, this is an opportunity for those employees, not ones that are already in state government that are working now, as well as retirees, to give their opinions. It's a very good initiative. It's one that I think, you know, others, we have done, we did it with the Ridge and Schweiker administration. I was very proud to work with that program. It was a fantastic program because you heard 20-year employees had never been asked their opinion. This is an opportunity for them to voice that opinion that they've had rolling around in their head for however long. This is the opportunity to say, hey, is this a good idea? The end goal is to look for savings. As I mentioned in the press conference, you know, many governors have had different initiatives, but many governors have had different priorities in those initiatives. Ridge and Schweiker, their priority was the state employee, and I think what uh, Representative Quinn's project is doing is bringing it back to that state employee and asking them where they see these savings. We have a $3 billion deficit in our state government right now for our budget due June 30. We need to look for ways to fix things. The employees know how things operate, what's a good way to go about it. They also know what's been tried. They know what they've tried before and what has worked and what hasn't worked, so they have that experience as well. So this is an opportunity to say, hey, you know, maybe we have changes we can make for the 17-18 budget, but if not longer term, we're always looking for ways to save the taxpayer money.